In the work of all that is happening, given that we are in the political season, my colleague Stephen Mbide is at the Electoral Commission with a Paul Wokenyo, who happens to be the spokesperson, acting spokesperson of the Electoral Commission. The tide is high, the times are challenging. Mbide, kindly take it away. Yes, good morning to you, Andrew Chamagero. Of course, we know that now exactly 28 days, the end of the presidential and parliamentary campaigns and then after two days we shall be going to the polls but what is on the ground now what is on, what is the process H how is it going with the electoral commission uh, with the candidates and of course the supporters how are they really ready for this uh, election and the campaigns uh, with me here is none other than the spokesperson some call you acting but i know you now in charge of the electoral commission povo kenya povo kenya no i know today is a big day for you uh, at least as uh, no mean exercise that going to be having a meeting here and of course several meetings but how are you ready and what should we expect we, we as uh, the, me the media but also uh, the nation as at large what should they expect from this meeting yeah well there are big days now every day comes with quite a, a lot of work relating to the election because the electoral roadmap is progressing. It's, it's, we're building up to the polling for various selective positions. Yes, today we're going to have a candidate, presidential candidate meeting with the Electoral Commission as we informed the country yesterday. And that's Honorable Robert Sentamu Chagulani of the National Unity Platform. He was not unable to come in yesterday, so we are meeting today to discuss matters related to the conduct of campaigns. And we hope that this will help us to um, ensure that the campaigns continue in a manner that, you know, satisfies the guidelines we issued. So on that line, yes, the campaigns are progressing. But we're also doing some other work. We started receiving ballot papers for presidential elections, parliamentary elections, and yesterday we started receiving uh, uh, ballot papers for local governments, districts, stock city chairpersons, mm. and directly elected councillors. So it's a, a, a lot of activity going on here, but also at the warehouses where we are receiving that is in uh, Chambu. Yeah, yeah. The, where we are receiving the, the ballot papers. Of course, they are not yet put into the ballot boxes, but they are, they are being stored. Uh, although we have already started working on the generic materials, putting them in the polling kit. Okay, let's talk about the materials being the things that we ordinarily use, the aprons, the pens, the ink pads, things that are supposed to be put in a whole hundreds almost of thousands of ballot boxes, yeah. Let's talk about also those concerns you're talking about. Some of the concerns from NUP and this principal, Robert Chagulan, is that you, are, you as the Electoral Commission, you are playing double standards. That some candidates, especially they not, not uh, the incumbent, who is also the NRM uh, candidate, Rio Kagutam 7, that you not saying anything as, as goes on with the processions, as people gather with him, and you are sing singling out him and, of course, uh, poor. I think that's not true. We have addressed all, all candidates, all presidential candidates for that matter, as well as candidates at parliamentary and local government uh, council level. I think when, there is, uh, when it is time or occasion or a day to address uh, a matter that concerns NUP, that's how it should be. It should be addressed to NUP and not to another person. When there's a matter to address to the Democratic Party, then it is addressed to the Democratic Party. I think for purposes of uh, uh, conduct of campaigns today, we are meeting NUP over the conduct of the campaigns, and I think we should look at that and handle it. Then when there's another matter, and other like we've been doing, because everyone is out there campaigning, uh, then that will be addressed also uh, as is required. But for now, the focus, uh, if you have an issue or an, uh, a question to answer, you, you need to present yourself and, and respond to it and, and get the necessary way forward and continue with your campaigns. Yesterday we saw the NRM candidates uh, and of course Kasoro. But do you have the muscle as the Electoral Commission to summon your Kaguta to Haruram Seven to come here and explain as to why he goes on with the processions? We nominated candidates and we are looking at all of the players as candidates, uh, not the positions they hold at the moment. And I think that is the relationship we have and the returning officer has powers to uh, invite and call on a candidate to present themselves or to answer because not all our engagements have included uh, a, a physical invitation here. It's, it's only on, 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 on several occasions that we've had to invite a person to appear physically here. For example, we are dealing with candidates every day. We are dealing with them every day. We have a contact. We have a liaison. We don't need them to appear every other time uh, when we have issues with them, when they're changing their program or something like that. But when it requires you to uh, appear physically, then 
you have to do that. So this applies to all candidates. The moment you're a candidate, then you are under the same, uh, uh, you know, rules. At least the candidate you're meeting today says that the uh, NM candidate is intimidating you, is you are not even in charge of uh, at least calling him. At least these are allegations from him. But what can you tell him? I, I think that could uh, be maybe one way of distracting and getting us, of course. Uh, I don't think that is, uh, but again, someone can have a view and an opinion to which they're entitled. I don't think they should focus on that. They should focus on their candidature. How is my candidature going? How am I, how am I doing? How am I participating in this exercise? Uh, we, like I've said, we're engaging all candidates for that matter because it, it matters how candidates conduct themselves. We do not want to see the election challenged at the end of the day in a court of law just because one candidate did not follow the guidelines. Mr. So for me. that matter, we are engaging all candidates. Uh, today it is the turn that we're meeting NUP and, and, and we want to look at that. But don't you think that you're wasting a lot of time with meetings? This is not the first meeting you're holding with uh, Robert Chagulani, with the police, with the relevant uh, stakeholders. You have meeting, me meeting after meeting, and these people have to go ahead with campaigns, and then you keep calling them here. And you're wasting time because the same issues you raise will come again in this another meeting. And you're wasting time. No, meetings are part of the electoral process. And if you have an electoral process where you do not have an uh, opportunity to meet, and discuss issues, then that is not a very good, you know, practice. So meetings are not wasteful. They help you to identify and address issues so that you can now continue with your campaign in a smooth manner. Yes, but so we, we keep on seeing these issues no, coming no, up, up. We do uh, not agree with that because we've made progress. We've made progress. Whenever we've met, we've uh, made headways. In so many, we've addressed issues. Although some issues remain, but uh, at least we've, we are not in the same way, the same place where we were when we got started. So I think meetings are productive. They are not uh, counterproductive. They are not delaying anyone. They are not distracting anyone. They are good for us. If anyone doesn't want to have meetings happening here, mm -hmm. it is the Electoral Commission because we're extremely busy, like you know. But I, I know some of the issues he raised, like in the later, the latest later, they are the same issues he has been complaining about uh, to you and, of course, to uh, other candidates and as well as the security agencies. They, they keep on blocking him from accessing hotels, from meeting uh, different people, and of course, uh, talking about also the media. These are the same issues he keeps on saying and presenting to you. That's why I'm saying, aren't you wasting a lot of time here? No, I will repeat that we're not wasting time. When you appear for a meeting, meetings are a good practice in, 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 in almost every area where you, you meet and address an issue. Or at least you complain that what I addressed before has not been attended to. So they, we are able to account when we meet. So. I perhaps have not read through the, all the contents of that letter, but uh, whatever it is, there's an opportunity to, 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 to put it to, to either party that this matter is going on. Yeah, so a meeting is productive. It's not a waste. We've seen the media council coming up with uh, a, a document or to, uh, trying to make sure that all journalists who are going to ha be covering these campaigns, which are under your, uh, your authority, they have to be registered with re-register. Re but we know that your electoral commission is the one supposed to be accrediting journalists. Is this fair from your, from your side as electoral commission? Uh, will you also block those journalists who do not have, that, who have not really registered with the media council? We, for every election that we've had in the past, we accredit journalists so that they can access polling stations, they can access tally centers at the district and even at the national level. So, yeah, for purposes of elections and to access our polling centers and uh, 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 tally centers, you need to be accredited. Now, we accredit you basing on your status that you are registered and you are in good standing with the regulator. Now, uh, if the regulator has put in place a, a mechanism for, you know, establishing who is, you know, you know who is uh, licensed, who is, who, is, uh, who is current by way of licensing, uh, the Electoral Commission does not look at it as a, a prohibitive move because we have always required that for you to be accredited by the Electoral Commission, your registration must be current and up to date with the regulators. In this case, we have uh, the Uganda Communications Commission, we have the Media Council of Uganda, which are uh, regulatory bodies. So I think uh, we, we do not, as Electoral Commission, we have always done that. We await to receive you, you. will not accredit those without? Of course, certainly, because that's what we've done before. You, you present to us with an update current 
uh, accredit rather regulatory you know clearance that's what we've done before because you're going to access a talent center you're going to uh, uh, participate in a, a, a very critical and sensitive activity you're going okay. to announce the results of the elections okay your final word to the candidates and the supporters out there watching your morning at NTV we are progressing with the electoral campaigns and the other activities under the electoral roadmap but uh, we don't want to lose track of our approach our approach remains cautious so we want you to put on your mask whenever you go out. We want you to keep distances. By now you know the candidates. They've been out there for one month. Do not gather in large numbers. Okay? And we do not want to have a situation which uh, leads to uh, disruption of the peace. We want to have peaceful elections and conclude them and move on with our lives. Thank you so much, Mr. Paul Bukenya, the spokesperson of the Electoral Commission. And of course, we know that Robert Chagran is on the way coming here and is going to be meeting the team here at the Electoral Commission. And we shall be following whatever happens here and we'll be relaying this in our subsequent bulletins like, uh, like NTV at one and of course NTV Akaunges and NTV tonight. This is Stephen Embiid on Pepe Swechuga taking you back to the studio with Andrew Chamagero, who is there. We'll Thank, you so much, Stephen Keep it here. Thank you so much, Stephen Mbidi. That has been quite a great conversation. We are waiting to see what will become of that conversation that is slated today between Bobby Wine and Amori Boy, Patrick, as well as the Electoral Commission. And that brings us to the end of our broadcasting this early morning. But remember, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. It's NTV Uganda. I'm Andrew Chamagero. Shall